This is my first video of 2019. I'm gonna be doing a simple get ready with me. It is around eight o'clock at night, but I just woke up from a major brunch food coma, which is probably not healthy, but I'm happy. So today's video will just be a simple get ready with me, and I kind of wanted to make it as well as my introduction video. As some of you guys may know me from Twitch, I am primarily a Twitch streamer. Uh, I play lots of World of Warcraft and then variety indie games. As you can see, most of my old videos are uploads of my guild's kill videos, and so I am a very avid gamer, but as I started to grow my Twitch stream, I wanted to experiment a little bit more, and so I did. I started doing get ready with me's and trying to do vlogs on Twitch, but I realized that, you know, Twitch is still very much so a gaming platform. Although they are starting to branch out, a lot of my followers or viewers initially followed me because I played video games. And so I wanted to separate the two. I wanted to still have my Twitch for whenever I game. <laughs> I still game like 12 hours a day, but I also wanted to make a separate YouTube channel for those who wanted to see how I do my makeup and my different skincare routine and then what I have been doing in Austin, Texas. And so I'm just trying to separate the two and I feel like YouTube is a more appropriate platform for that kind of stuff. And so, this is a new thing of 2019 that I'm trying out. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it's my first one so as I figure it out, I hope production quality will go up but if you guys are also interested in gaming or watching me on Twitch, my Twitch handle is twitch.tv slash xingxingwong. It's the same as my YouTube. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments. I hope they're nice, but you can comment below. And so let's get ready with me. So I just washed my face and I've prepped it with moisturizer and all of that. And so we're going to just go ahead and finish everything off in terms of skincare with this Misha waterproof sun milk sunblock. I love this sunblock. It you know sunscreen can be kind of like heavy and leave like that white residue? This one doesn't really. And the reason why I use a waterproof one is because I live in Texas and it's really hot. And so I don't sweat that often, but in case I do, you know. So I have the waterproof one in case I do sweat. So this is with the sunscreen on. And then to start my makeup, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty the Pro Filter Primer. I'm actually not going to put on any foundation today. I've been trying to give my skin a rest. It feels a lot lighter too, but if I know I'm gonna be out all day, then I will probably wear foundation, but if it's just for a little bit, I typically just put this on. It took me a while to get to a place where I was comfortable enough to not wear foundation. Before, I would always wear like foundation, BB, BB cream, um, the compact cushion pressed powder foundation, but after clearing up my skin, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with not wearing foundation. But I still like putting this on because it makes your skin look smooth. I don't know if it's just a me thing, but... <laughs> When I do wear foundation though, oh, there's my cat, um, I will mix this with my foundation. So instead of adding this layer first and then adding my foundation on top of it, I will mix the two together. I read this article about how it's supposed to be better and I don't know how true it is, but the one thing that kind of got me, it's like, well, you skip a step. I was like, okay, cool. 
I'm still very, very new to makeup. Um, the girl didn't start wearing makeup until <laughs> maybe junior year of college. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's our uh, cat litter box. I hope you guys can hear that. I'm gonna wait until this is finished, just so I can edit it out later. Alright, so now that we have the primer on, I'm going to do my brows. A lot of the products I'm going to be using today is 3CE. It's a Korean brand. I went crazy for their Black Friday sale because they had products that were normally like $20 going for as low as like $3. And so I went crazy. I bought a lot of products. So the first one we're going to use is the 3CE sharpened edge brow pen right here and brown this is the darkest color i could find and i do my brows a little differently my brows don't really match up as you can see like this one i got i managed to get it to grow like out right here but then this side it's just no matter what i did i just couldn't get it to grow in fully right here so <laughs> i actually don't really like the whole dark and then it kind of fades out look at least not on me like i've tried it on myself and it just i don't know maybe i'm not used to it but i like the more like fuller brows so i'm gonna start by putting it on the ends first and then working up and then i'm gonna use a heavier end, hand on the ends and then a lighter hand on the front so we're gonna do like a side sweeping motion for the tail and then when we get up here i'm gonna go upwards It took me, whenever I first started getting into, I guess, makeup stuff, I realized that my eyebrows were a mess. And it took me about three years <laughs> to grow and shape my eyebrows. Oh, it was a long journey, but now we're here. <laughs> so I fold it in over here, and then I'm gonna go upwards. And then any spots that kind of look like they need to be filled, <clears throat> I'll go back. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this way. This is a technique I learned from watching lots of videos online, but <laughs> use your spoolie to get rid of harsh, blend out harsh lines. And what you want to do, from what I was taught, is you want to go at the ends and then any leftover residue you want to put up front. So just do the side motion and then bring it to the front and go up. Like that. And then same thing here. And then I will set my brows in with Anastasia your brow gel and next I'm gonna be doing my eyes so I'll be using this 3CE eye primer I don't do that much of my brows whenever it's more like a casual thing because it's a lot of work <laughs> I like going for a more easier routine when I'm just going out for a little bit Today I'm going to go with the Naked 3 palette. This is really pinky tones. My mirror fell out, but as you can see, really pinky tones. I'm going to use Limit first. It's this matte non-shimmer color, pink color. I'm going to put it all over my eyes. 
I'm still learning the art of eyeshadow, so I found this is what works for me is you start your eyes with a kind of a neutral or non-matte shade and then you want to go a shade darker and put it on the corners of your eyes or on the side to give it more depth so I'll be using this mooner I'll be using this one this angle I'm gonna put on the corner And then I'm going to be using Buzz right here to, so this one is a shimmer and I'm just going to put it on the inner. I'm going to give your eyes some sparkle. <laughs> It's pretty much a very staple foundation. You start with a non-shimmer base, put it all over, and then you put a darker shade on the corners, and then you can put like a shimmer or a lighter color towards uh, the corners of your eye. So you just have, you kind of have this like gradient, which looks really nice. This is what I've learned. <laughs> but of course, everyone does it a little differently. And then I'm going to be taking Burnout right here. And then I'm going to go from the corner and drag it down my lower lash line. The idea is to get like whatever left over over here and drag it out. I try not to put too much, uh, too much underneath, <laughs> but you can see it's like a very like natural pinky look. And I like this. It's very, it's nice for everyday makeup. When I first bought this palette, um, the mirror was broken off. <laughs> and it just always comes off like it's supposed to have mirror right here. <laughs> but yeah, so this is my eyeshadow. I do do more dramatic looks, but this is what I like for my everyday look. So next we're going to be doing eyeliner. <laughs> eyeliner is always a struggle for me, at least. Um, I learned that. It takes a lot of time and practice. Sometimes I feel like eyeliner really like makes or breaks your whole like makeup routine or makeup flow. Cause like everything could be going perfect and then if you like mess up your eyeliner, it gets in your eyeshadow, then you're like, I have to start over. But the trick I learned was to basically go fast and follow and it kind of sounds like weird advice but it does work sometimes like I've seen girls who just put it on and they're able to glide across but like I said it's lots of practice and I'm getting better at it of course but um slow and steady never hurts anyone so let's just get started I'm gonna go to the corner So I make the tail first. Also forgot to say, I'm using M Cosmetics. I love this eyeliner. So I made the tail first. And then I'm gonna connect it in. Till it kind of meets my eyelash line so you see this part is open and then i'll just slowly go along my waterline and right above my lash line I 
I try not to pull my eyes. Um, I learned that that's very bad and it causes premature wrinkles. So, I, so you'll see me like trying not to do it, but it's hard to break habits sometimes. And so I'll just lightly go across the waterline and the top of her eyelash. I feel like a tight liner is much harder than just a thick liner. <laughs> okay, so this eye is done. And now to do the same thing on this one. So after your eyeliner is done, um, wear mascara, curl our lashes. I did buy some falsies to try and put on, or learn how to put it on, and they're right here. But I unfortunately had to trim them because it was just way too intense on my eyes because I don't really have eyelashes in the first place but these are like super extra so I'm going to skip out on this I'm just going to use regular mascara and I'm going to be using 3CE I'm Good Mascara I really like this one because of the brush it's really thin and so it's really easy to get the bottom lashes honestly most of the time, I'll skip out on mascara because uh, it's really annoying to remove, at least for me. <laughs> like, you have to do a really good job, and I'm kind of scarred because I saw this picture of this lady who, like, never removed her mascara for many years, and then her vision started getting blurry, and when they looked underneath her eyelid, she had, like, deposits of mascara that were like in pockets on her on her um eyelid and they were like this is what happens years and years and years of not removing your makeup but i know it's like a very extreme case but <laughs> you know definitely freaked me out i i didn't realize it stopped recording while i was explaining but um, basically what I did is I used the Etude House Dear Darlington on my lips. It doesn't come out as red as you would expect, and it'll last a really long time. And I finished everything off with this Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Those are the last two steps, and so this is my everyday look. Granted, I'm not wearing foundation or I don't have any contour on. I like to give my skin a break every now and then. And it's taken me a long time to get to this position where I'm comfortable with going out with no foundation on. Lots of trial and error with lots of different skin products. And I actually am getting a new shipment of skin products tomorrow that I'm gonna be trying out. So this, YouTube page will still, I will still be posting my kill videos from WoW. If you guys know World of Warcraft, I am a mythic raider. I play Boomkin. If this doesn't make any sense to you, it's okay. If you are interested in that, I still stream very regularly on Twitch, but if that's not something you're looking for or interested in, it's okay. I'll have my YouTube for more of my personal stuff and my makeup stuff, skincare stuff, all of that jazz. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can hit that like button down there and hit subscribe. Um, but until next time, see you guys later.